uh, while moving to the uh, sequence of the series of the lecture we will proceed with the next queue that which is the transmission queue I will learn in detail about the transmission queue how to create the transmission queue and how to configure the transmission queue and what is all about that in the sequence of the series we will proceed with the transmission queue the transmission queue is a, just like a local queue and it has a, also a physical storage and uh, it it is used for the transfer the huge huge before the channel in case channel get down then message will be stored for that at that location so let me create the uh, transmission queue and show you how it is work so for creating creation of transmission queue you need to just create a local queue because already i told you that the transmission queue is just a local queue and nothing else uh, you need to just create click, click on right click on queue and that's new and just write uh, some name q max 2 dot trans we are I, I writing name like that because because uh, keeping it simple and in similar manner it will take some for all property from the local queue to transmission queue while clicking on next you, you can see all properties of the put in put get and uh, persistent everything is there only thing is that you need to know the thing is that usage if you keep it is normal usage then it will act behave as a local queue but if you choose from drop down and use a transmission it will work as a transmission this point you must need to know and rest everything is same as the local you can see here the max depth and also maximum message length size and rest all property is similar to the local queue only thing you need to know the usage usage must be transmission type if you keep it normal then it will be normal local queue if you get a transmission it will be transmission queue let's click on the finish transmission queue is now created if, if you see the symbol there is also difference between the symbol if you go to local queue it is just you can just hear the symbol it's like that for message box if you click this see the symbol of the alias queue it is just like an arrow arrow it is giving something like that is alias queue and it you see the low if you with the transmission queue is something like that uh, uh, straight arrow there is a symbol difference you can also see from the symbol and get understand about the uh, queue what type of it is so, and let's come to the properties of the some transmission queue the transmission queue already told you it has it is a local queue that is used when a queue manager forwards a message to a remote queue manager through a message channel let me show you diagram and it will help you to understand it better uh, you can, if you see here a diagram that one. if you see here diagram whatever here what is happening here here application a is sending some message and application b is taking the message when application a sends a message to a queue manager one it will sends the information to a remote queue manager and after that it the information is sent to your uh, transmission queue and they, that information is being sent to the message channel agent that is sender channel and receiver channel and through that it will go to the local queue of the queue manager 2 and after that it will transfer to the uh, application b here the remote here the transmission queue came into the picture before the sender channel what happened uh, why we uh, place the uh, transmission queue here you, there, is a, there is a reason behind that in case let, let's example the uh, sender channel is somehow down somehow, somehow sender channel is down and then message will be sent by the application a will uh, not go to the application b where it's it's must need to be somewhere stored it will be stored in the transmission queue it is all message sent by the uh, the application a it will be stored in the transmission queue of the queue manager one 
because cylinder channel is down so that's the importance of the transmission queue and it is a temporary queue like this just like the uh, local queue, local queue is a temporary queue because it is store a message for the few second few millisecond you can say and uh, but in case it is channel it down it can store for the uh, as as much as time it will as soon as it will up and uh, message can queued on a transmission queue until the channel can accept them or it will do is as soon as channel will be up the message will be get picked up because uh, and that uh, that's totally depend on that channel as a channel agent and already told you to, for creation you have to uh, for the creation of transmission queue you have to just use a use type is transmission that's all about the transmission queue and uh, we later uh, know more about the uh, queues properties and queue uh, you don't need to worry about that if you are not getting the thing we will learn everything in detail and if you have any doubt you can comment on the and i will uh, reply you with the answers uh, bye for today